here, and welcome to Space Engineers. This is an early access Steam title that I've been playing for a while, and for the last month I've been playing with my brother, and he'll be joining me here on this joint survival run. He's not here at the moment because he's out collecting fuel for our our mission. Our reactor in the in the command module's gotten kind of low, and we could use a new supply. Let's see if I can get back far enough to show you here. I'll give you the rundown. We used to have a you know pretty nice place here, but we pretty much stripped it of all of its resources, and I've run out of stuff to repair things with, which is why the base has fallen into disrepair. And I've been spending a lot of time in cryo sleep waiting for him to return. It seems like it's been forever. Hopefully he found the uranium we need, but here you can see our design follows an American Atlas heavy lifter rocket with so, sort of like an Apollo command module on the top. We have a communication satellite in the bay in the cargo hold. It uh, could hold far more, but we just don't have the resources to build anything else, and we're kind of just gathering up everything that is salvageable from our current operation and we're gonna head for a new home hopefully somewhere a little greener than this or you know just more resources in general I guess I don't care if it's ice ice is still worth hydrogen it's just better than sand sand is worth nothing to me so I'm waiting for him to get back and when he does we're gonna go through a pre-flight check and hopefully get the hell out of here what the hell is that I'd ask if somebody else heard that, but nobody to ask. It sounded like a meteor strike. Oh, I see something on the horizon. Shit, I better go grab my. Better go grab my ammunition. I don't want to be caught. Caught slack in here. Check it out. Oh yeah, that's plenty of ammo. Alright, 1,500 rounds. Any wolves wanna wanna try and ruin my day, they're gonna be in for it. Turn on my flashlight here. It Oh no. Oh it's my brother. I told you he was out gathering uranium. Oh, oh, he's in a bad way. Oh God. Mark, Mark, speak to me. Are you all right? The pirates, they're out there. Oh. They found me mining. Oh God. We, get, we gotta get you to a med bay, you're in bad shape. Alright everyone, well we're back and we've got Mark all healed up here. He goes by the name, by the handle Messiah Bolical, but you should probably know that our real names are Andrew and Mark, because we are brothers, we will be mostly referring to each other by our real names rather than our online handles. So, we're gonna begin gathering stuff up for the ship. You're uh, kinda dancing on the medical supplies there. Yeah. So, you know, those are... You know, we got a bunch of supplies laying around. I have. I, did you. Oh. Did, did you at least get the uranium? Is it back at the ship? I believe it is in the ship still. Oh, okay, alright. Well, I'll, well, I'll run out there. I've got my gun, so I'll go get the uranium. Alright. There we go. We got. Alright. Not bad. Not bad. That was a good amount of uranium. Alright. I'm on my way back now. Alright, what happened to the base while I was gone, man? Uh, well, you, you were gone quite a long time, and there were raiders, as you said. They are out there. And there's been yeah. some roving packs of wolves picking at the, uh, at the perimeter fences that I've had to deal with. Yeah, see, so we're, uh, down a couple batteries here, and... Yeah... Those, those have deteriorated. We pretty much got just the rocket left. Well, once uh, once we hit a certain level of of uh, things were falling apart, I guess degradation, you could say. 
I decided that all remaining effort should probably go into maintaining the rocket so that we can get out of here. So I just sort of began letting other things fall apart in the name of of using supplies on the rocket. I guess that's a good call. That's a fair call. <laughs> like I, I didn't think I was like we're gonna we're gonna need to get out of here and I mean this place is falling apart as it was. It was all right, there's a couple of crates around here that I've left a few supplies in. There's some ice in here. It's uh, 200 kilos of ice, though. I mean, that's uh, that's quite a bit of ice. So. Oh, apparently I can carry it. Stone in there too. Uh, that's I don't stone's kind of a throwaway material, so you know that's just yeah. left, left over from us doing stuff. There's uh some other other crates around. I don't have any of my tools on me. Um, I'm gonna take this ice up and put it in the uh, in the hydrogen oxygen uh, generator right. in the pod, in the what do you call this the command capsule of the ship there we go just having problems there stumbling over my thoughts <laughs> oh no there we go um, okay so there's no oxygen inside the pod right now because life support's not on so if you bring any anything inside the capsule, make sure you have your helmet on. Alright. Uh, let's see here. If I put it in here... Same with the uranium. And now we sh should be able to... Um... Yep, there we go. I manually moved the ice into the hydrogen oxygen generator. And, uh, oh, that's that's right. We uh, this is unrefined uranium. That's okay. I forgot that. Yeah. All right, uranium in the refinery. How much do we have? Oh, okay. We we still got five kilos in the reactor, and you brought us ten kilos of unrefined ore. So, all right, that's good. Yeah, we should be all right. It's like once we. Oh, hey, the sun. The sun's coming up. That's oh, I'm I'm falling very fast. Don't die on me. <laughs> I'm good. I uh I used my jetpack to. Is my flashlight still on? Yep, there we go. Turn that off. Stop wasting energy. Okay, um, I put the uranium and the ice in there. Uh, my tools, my tools are in here on the shelf. I gotta grab those because I ha I wasn't just carrying them around, and I probably should be. There's also a couple of components here on the shelf. There's some uh, construction components and a few motors. I'm gonna go ahead and pull those out. Uh, I kind of want to come clean with you. I, uh, I've been been holding out on you. Why don't you stand in front of that, that space engineer's machine there? Uh, let's see. Alright. All right. Uh, there you go. Kinda, I do mean to apologize that I, I didn't mean to be, you know, keeping secrets. Alright, in that cargo container, uh, or no, it's on this shelf over here. There's a there's a rifle. You should take it. I feel like like you're the better shot, and and you should have it. I'm pretty sure I've taken everything off these other shelves and moved them. Yep, into the rocket. Okay, got some computers. Uh, nope, solar cells, power cells, and I believe. Yep, in here I got some computers and some displays left. All right, so I got got us some components. Yeah, I was. Got three magazines and a rifle. That rifle's a bit special. I poured, yeah, I see that. I poured some of our remaining special components into it so that we we could have at least one good weapon. I figured, you know, you're a better shot, so you should have it. Thanks, man. Yep, no problem. I, I wouldn't make very good use of it. I'd just waste bullets. I'm gonna, uh, go take a look at this. At this crash dragonfly over here because maybe yeah i saw that earlier and i was wondering about it well i mean i'll come with oh hey look like see this is what i'm worried about is because there have been wolves 
there's a uh, little pieces of scrap metal around like the scrap metal plates that we picked up out of that that thing i had been picking them up off the ground i think the wolves have been tearing things apart and they like that could be they break things down when they attack it and yeah because this used to have solar panels like i mean it was in the dirt but it was you know mostly intact now it's looks like it's been partially eaten and yep here's some evidence look scrap scrap plates on the back side behind the battery here at least we can pick those up as material right well, actually we reusable could, stuff really we could deconstruct this whole thing do you have tools on you yeah I got a grinder right here all right cool well I don't see much of a point in really leaving it you know I mean yeah it's all components we can use I mean, it's most of a ship, really. I mean, not a remote control ship, but still. Yeah, there's a battery, you know. And everything ore, else it here. It has an ore detector on it, if we can get to it. I wonder how much is buried. Should I try digging for it? Ooh, I just noticed something. Um, if it drops components like steel plates, and you use your grinder on the steel plates, it uh, turns it into scrap metal. Huh. So we want to make sure we pick it up before we get to that stage. Like, see, look, I just broke this uh, solar panel down, and because I stopped early enough, there's a t there's a steel oh, tube nice. and the components. On my inventory's full, but it it stopped with uh with those couple of things there all right so i got a couple things out you, of the ground you know, right here you are right there is more here let's i'm gonna go ahead and use a right click or center center click and you won't get any stone Ooh. Ooh. it's mostly intact it's still here it's just under the ground here's the ore detector i'll grab that off we got a camera and some more thrusters and there's a... I'm gonna go drop off the materials I have because I'm full. Alright. Alright, well, the windows... Yeah, she is mostly intact. Yeah, the windows are broken in one spot. Uh, there's a little bit of hull damage over here. A couple of the engines are inoperable. Even if we dig her out, though, she won't lift off right now. She's lacking... lacking bottom ion engines. Or, I mean, uh hydrogen engines and she needs that to lift off there was no way we could really take her with us anyway no nah. for the most part she looks she looks largely intact I'd have to try and hack into the computer to find out yeah you know. I imagine by now the rocket's been refueled for a while I have no idea how long were you gone I was in cryo sleep for days it seems I don't know how long I was gone, man. I was mining. I was underground. How am I supposed to know how long I was gone for? Good point. Uh, I don't think we're going to need this stone. I keep coming back over here and checking it out, but I just I don't think we're going to need it. So. Uh, I think that's about everything. I mean, we... Oh, wait. We could... There are these degradated sol solar panels over here that we could pick up. Yeah. We can grind these away, they're not... Components are components. Right. Oh, this was part of a steel block, but still. Make sure you stop early enough to pick up the good components. When's early enough? Uh, well, when it finishes breaking apart, it, they, they appear, and you don't want to grind those down. Okay. They might have been underground, like it's entirely possible, and I don't feel like digging for them. So as long as we got the main components from it, that's what matters. Yeah, I stopped right after it hit zero. All right, well, I think that's about everything. It's daytime. I'm going to turn the lights off here. We're just wasting electricity, and I mean, even though we're not going to be here for very much longer, no point. Save something for anyone who's going to show up. Right, I mean, it should stay, uh, mostly, mostly powered. There's, you know, some solar panels still up there on our energy collection array. Not much, but right. some. <laughs>
enough to charge the couple three batteries that are still there, as long as wolves don't eat Unless, this place. Unless, I'd say yeah, that's what I was say. I'm gonna. Unless something shows up, tears all the batteries apart. <clears throat> go ahead and check uh, fuel levels in the rocket. Yeah, it's looking like it finished fueling a while ago. Like, so I'm gonna go ahead. And okay. I'm gonna uh, retract the fuel line. What just happened? Oh. oh. That didn't sound good. Uh, it's it's fine. Really. I'm just glad the rocket's done feeling, cause either way, it was a, uh, it was done refueling. <laughs> Why is that? Well, <coughs> the fuel line kind of <coughs> fell apart from age. Oh. That's. Oh, that's nice. Right. I, I went to disconnect it and it just kind of disintegrated and I was like, well, that's one way of doing that. So I'm going to go ahead and grind these parts down. <laughs> right, more component. So it's like new and the sun's ready to bow us. Okay, well, we're going to need to do a pre-flight check of like all the systems on the ship anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and climb into my seat here and I'm in the one behind you. Okay. I need to make sure that the ion engines are going to thrust because the problem with the Iro 2, you know, it, uh, well, A, outside of the main problem that it exploded, the, the uh, abort sequence failed and the main, That's not good. the main ion engines on the bottom of the capsule never kicked in. That was not my fault as an engineer that's not my fault that was the game it did that <laughs> but mm. I, I found that out today the hard way that the ion engines when set to off on a craft that has been loaded into the game sometimes they remain off like permanently and you have to almost like shock them into life mm. so that's from what I can tell that's what went wrong when what do you mean someone else is using this ship? It just, right. it just, I mean, for me, it shouldn't be telling me Hold that, because I'm in the main yeah, cockpit, yeah. you know? Yeah, there I got out of mine. I don't know why it's telling. Yeah, it still says it on my screen, using. though. It still says it, it like, whatever. Because, I mean, like, it's, it's like, this is the main cockpit. I'm, I am in the main cockpit, whatever. It doesn't matter. Alright, I'm gonna test the... Nope. I, uh, I'm get... No, oh, there we go. All the, um... Are you gonna unlock the... Landing pad? Yes. Or is that something I need to do? Okay. Uh, you could... If you want... No, I'm I mean, all I gotta do is press L. No, because the landing gear are attached to the uh, the base and not the rocket. They're not your landing uh, gear, they're the base's landing gear, so yes, I'll have to detach those via antenna. Okay. Either that, or you know, you just thrust really hard and burn through them all. Yeah, but we tried that once. That's what happened the first time, remember? Did we try, did we try that? In survival. We didn't though. try to. No, we didn't. Okay. I was... I, it, that one might have been a survival map. I don't know. It was our first test of the rocket. Right. And we didn't. It didn't let go, and we ended up burning through. And I think we lost parts on the pad or something. <laughs> yeah. There, there was some stuff there. I never showed the audience the top of the, the top of the capsule that we actually do have a, a second layer up here got a bathroom in here for you know doing your business doing your business doing your business just taking taking a space grunt a space grunt yeah, yeah. 
the fuck? And uh, we got beds for four people because we used to have four crew members, but as Mark as Mark was explaining just a few minutes ago, the uh, the Iro two didn't go well. Yeah. yeah. So we're on to the Iro three now. I was on that rocket. I was lucky enough to survive. Yeah. Other members of the crew weren't so lucky. It was a it was a sad day for the Iro program. Yeah, that that was a sad day. All right, I, uh, I'm gonna go down to the pad, have one last look around. Yeah, it's getting pretty late in the day. We're probably gonna want to wait through another night cycle before we launch. Oh yeah. The sun's getting pretty close to that mesa again, which is unfortunate, but you know. All right, I'm full on everything again. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. Uh, I'm just gonna enter cryo sleep for the night because I I think we've collected everything. I'm pretty sure we got everything off every shelf. We ground down like everything that we really want to take with us. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm just gonna cry sleep for the night.